Hey guys, this is Exertion, and we're back at it again with these daily videos. Okay, now we are continuing this room, this lovely room right in here. Um, almost done with the floor, not much to go. Um, so we are going to be getting wood from our wood uh, farm, our oak wood farm, and... That is pretty much about it, what we're going to be doing. And also we are going to be putting chests in here and then sorting things out. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Okay, now let's get right into it. Alright, I'm done with doing that weird weirdness. Alright, so, again, uh, I, I don't know if you've seen the previous videos of this series. If not, I recommend going back and watching them before. But, if you have already seen them, you already know what, it, uh, what we're doing. Uh, we're just chopping down these trees in here and getting the wood from them. And then working on that room in there. And then after that, I plan on doing the walls. Um, putting down the... Pretty much, we're doing the floor, the uh, the walls, the, um, the chest. And then I want to put um, item frames in there on each chest, each double chest. For the item that goes into that uh, chest. And then after that I want to probably start working on this room. Start working on the floors and the walls and stuff like that. But we're not really. Um, well I should say we're doing quite a bit. like, And then. After that we will probably do something. Uh more entertaining um, either look for more diamonds or um, start working on the village farm one of the two because we need to prepare before we even decide to go fight uh, any type of boss and then after that, after I have diamonds and have either have them enchanted or wait until they are, wait until I upgrade them to netherite, I'm probably going to enchant them, enchant like a full diamond set of armor. And then after that, go and get netherite and upgrade the diamonds, the, uh, the diamond armor and stuff. And... I don't know if I want to do the same thing in my uh, previous uh, episode, well, my previous uh, videos from my other world that I should have a full dime, well, full um, gold armor uh, and then full uh, diamond armor and netherite armor. I'm not for sure if I want to do that as well in this world too. And then... So let me know if you guys think it should be best if I should start, if I should do that as well. Because I know I'm going to probably at least have something uh, gold so that I can be able to trade with the Palins without them attacking me. But it's going to be either, I'm probably going to most likely make a full, um gold uh, armor but let me know if I should make a full diamond armor as well because obviously I'm gonna go up to uh, netherite tier so I don't know if I should have diamond as well maybe have diamond as normal uh, daily uh, armor that I wear and then when I go and fight a boss or something I put on the netherite uh, 
There's nothing up here. So we're just gonna go back down here. Um, I think, yeah, there's some of these are done. I'm starting to run a little low on food. So I have to make sure that I have plenty of that because if I don't make sure I don't have enough food, something could uh, happen. And which I don't think anything would really happen because there's a re like the really nothing big will keep me from eating it, it would just have to be like uh, um, a lot of mobs coming after me or something so either way I just need to make sure that I have enough food Uh, I don't want to jump up on the block. I think I already got it, possibly. I probably need to put something there so then I don't jump up on it because that will, uh, like, if I jump up and then go down, then it will um, get rid of these, the wheat. So uh, it's then I would have to re um, hoe it or whatever you want to call it. I would have to redo it. And I don't want to do that. And my iron axe is about to break soon, so we need to make sure that uh, I'm probably gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to make me a new one. Uh, eventually, I want to do uh, I do want to go mining for more diamond stuff, but I think I should worry about um, getting villagers first and getting all that set up before I start working on uh, diamond stuff because. Once I have diamond stuff and start using the diamond things or whatever, then they will uh, weaken, I guess. And I don't want them to uh, weaken because if they uh, weaken too much and then I end up getting um, mending, then they like it would take a lot of XP to uh, fix them, and I don't want to do that. So I'm probably going to first work on a... Uh, a villager kind of farm thing it's uh it's just gonna be like a headquarter uh, headquarters kind of thing it's gonna be like a hallway that you walk down and then they're like in that hallway I'm not for sure where I want to put them yet but I'm gonna figure out somewhere And I should probably figure out uh, that place first before I start deciding to go and get villagers. And I have to make sure that that villager is making, well, trading the right thing that I'm wanting to get. And then I also probably want to make an, a, a, like a a farm village kind of thing where uh, it's like a huge farm and all they're doing is producing um, like wheat or something like that so that I can sell it to them pretty much back to them and uh, uh, make um, I'll sell it to them to make uh, why do I keep on saying make Pretty much, I get uh, their wheat or their carrots or whatever they have, and then pretty much gather it up and trade it to them to get, not make, to get emeralds. And then I can use those emeralds to trade with the other villagers in the headquarters kind of thing and be able to get um, enchanted books. So, I actually might work on that farm first, because then I will start having a whole lot of villagers, and then after that, I will be able to um, breed them, and then slowly bring one at a time out of the, or like, 
one or two uh, slowly out uh, of um, the farm area and then bring them to the headquarters and then change their their um, their work to a librarian and then constantly uh, break the um, the workstation until they learn the type of trade that I want them to have. And eventually, I do want to uh, fight the Ender Dragon, and I do want to fight the Wither as well. But I also eventually, when the the uh, the Caves and Cliffs update comes out, I want to fight the the Warden, and I also want maybe not in this world, maybe in a different one. I want uh, to. See who would win versus the iron. Well, the warden versus like the ender dragon, or the warden versus the wither. Which I kind of have a feeling that the uh, the wither would win against the warden, but the warden might win. Um, against the uh, Ender Dragon because the Ender Dragon's kind of stupid, and it also kind of like flies down to the center, so the Warden could easily kill um, the Ender Dragon once it goes down. I would just have to block the um, the little uh, portal thing in the center that you can go back home. I would have to block that so then the Warden. Uh, I don't know if it works that way, but if the warden, like, excellently gets into it, it might teleport him away, so I would have to block that. And, uh, I wonder how the warden would react with all the, uh, with all the, um, endermen everywhere. He probably would freak out and want to be all directly on the the ender dragon so i i don't know how i would make that work out i don't know if i can make it peaceful or something because i know if you make it peaceful the uh, the the endermen won't spawn in there I'm not for sure if the Ender... Uh, uh, wait, well, maybe the Ender Dragon's not in, even in there either. I, I'm not for sure. If you have it on Peaceful and you go in there, I don't know if the Ender Dragon spawns. I have no clue. Okay, these are taking forever. Grow. Yay. First try. Okay. Oh, I forgot one over here. Okay. Guess while that's right awaiting, I will put this over here. And it looks like we are done with the floor. Finally, three episodes later. And then now we can turn this wood, well, this oak, into, well, this oak log into oak planks. And then we can make one chest for now. But now we can use less wood because it was the logs that would make the floor but now it's pretty much less uh, wood that we're making with the the chest so then now it's going to go a lot more faster um you would think it would be growing a little faster now 
There's a lot of trees in here. I'm going to throw these in the composter. Won't really give me anything. Yeah, it won't give me anything. And those won't give me anything either. Okay, I think that's done. Yeah. Are you really not going to give me a seed? Really? Okay, I guess I don't have any seeds. Oh well, I guess I would just put them down later. I'll put that seed down later from a different wheat plant. My axe is about to break, so I might as well just make another one. And maybe I should put a crafting table down there as well. So I don't have to keep them coming up and down, up and down, up and down. We'll finish that off and then eventually finish that off. There. Okay. There is one, okay, I thought there was one wood in there, but it's not, it's this one right here. There's no wood in there. Oops. i put this back in there, and then throw those in there as well. As well as that. Okay. These are still not done. Alright, well, I'm going to cut it until they're grown, so I will see you guys then, and yeah, alright. Okay, guys, um, the only thing that's, uh, like, grown this whole entire time was one, and I've been sitting here for a good, like, seven minutes, maybe, so... And I've only got four logs out of that. <laughs> like, really? Oh, well. And then that's a couple chests. And then going up that takes a lot of my hunger. Going upwards takes a lot. I've, I've noticed that. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm like hitting my head or something. I have no clue. Um, I have. I do have one leather. So we can start one. We also need to get some cows as well and start a cow farm. That's what I was originally looking for. When I, was, when I got those animals, I was originally looking for a uh, cow. There wasn't any up there. Later on, I will look for more. See, like you can barely open it up. And that's how it's gonna look. Okay, 
Okay, here's another tree. And then we can make a couple more. Uh, give me more saplings. So I can place them back down. Come on, there we go. Come on, at least one more. Okay, there we go. Oh, give me another one. And I need to go up there and do the same process. I don't know if I don't think I uh, said anything uh, in this video. How are you guys doing? How's your day? What are you guys up to? Is there any um, big events or anything like that you guys are doing pretty soon, or like what's going on with your guys' life? What's happening? Happening if. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Happening, not happen. Kind of sounded like I said happen, but I said happening. But, yeah, like, what what's happening, guys? Like, what's going on? What do you guys think about the next update? Do you guys like what you see? Do you think that there should be more? Well, hopefully there's more, but uh, like, what are you? What are your guys' ideas on what should be in the next update, or even uh, past the uh, next update? What do you think the uh, update should be after that? Do you think it should be the the end update, or do you really think that they should just skip the end update and do something that's more important? like more food or like a food update or just a, a mob update or uh, a new dimension which I think uh, they said that they won't add another dimension until all the dimensions has been updated and that could be that could be anything honestly they could mean that by obviously the uh, the nether that's been updated um, they can also mean, uh, by the end, or they can also, uh, for some reason, add the overworld as a, a dimension, and that they need to update all the biomes and stuff first, which that would take a long time, because, you know, how long back they've been talking about, um, like the savannah and, uh, all those, uh, biomes that's, uh, has been, um, pretty much confirmed that's coming, like, uh, the swamp with the the frog and the um, the boats with the chests like those or whatever like they've confirmed those like years ago like a couple years back so if that's what they mean is by updating the overworld before they bring out dimensions that could be a very very long time and you're constantly going to be updating the overworld. There's going to be constant new things, new ideas. Like, there's, uh, like, my opinion, there's no limit to Minecraft on, like, ideas which you can add. You can just make up new things, or you can bring in, uh, things that's already, that's in the real world. There's so many things that's in the real world that still isn't in Minecraft. So, there's like plenty of time, uh, like it's long ideas that can be added to Minecraft and that's not always a bad thing. It's a good thing because there's always going to be content in, uh, in, in Minecraft, which is a good thing. But uh, if, hopefully that they didn't mean the overworld, that they're waiting until they update the overworld completely because that would never happen because there's gonna you're gonna always be updating the overworld and you can um, also say that you can uh, that you'll be up it can uh, be updating the the um, dimensions uh, like as long as you're uh, updating the overworld which is true but 
when you update the dimensions, you're making them more, um, like more of a reason to come uh, go in there. But the, the difference between the dimension and the overworld is that you are always going to be really in uh, in the overworld more than the dimensions. And there's way more stuff that you can, there's, yeah, there's biomes in the nether and stuff like that, but there's like, I don't know, there's more stuff that you can bring into the overworld than you can with those other worlds, with the other dimensions and stuff. my opinion I mean pretty much any idea in any um any dimension overworld whatever you can have endless amount of ideas because there's for one it's not just like one person thinking of all the ideas it's millions and millions of people that play minecraft So uh, the ideas are endless. It's stuff that's in the uh, in the real world. A whole lot, of whole a whole lot of stuff that has not brought uh, been put in Minecraft, and then there's also a whole lot of um, made up stuff that you can uh, bring into the game. Like there's already made up stuff that's in in Minecraft already. Like. Um, the wither, that's made up. The um, moose room, that's made up. The drowned, that's made up. The zombie, skeleton, all those things are made up. Now some of them are more unique, like the moose room, like that's just an idea came from Minecraft. So. There can, or like the Strider, that's a mob that just came from Minecraft and nothing else. Like, like zombies and stuff like that, skeletons and stuff. That that that's an idea came before Minecraft. But like the Strider, the Creeper, the Wither, the Mushroom, those type of mobs are unique to Minecraft so like there can be hundreds and hundreds of new unique mobs just like those mobs there's can be unique items <sighs> just for Minecraft so pretty much what, uh, what my point is is hopefully that's not what they meant is by updating the overworld is counting as a, a, a dimension and they're just counting the um because they weren't specific they just said that um they they need to update all the all the uh, dimensions before they think about making new dimensions so that that can be obviously uh, the uh, the nether they upgrade uh, well they updated that uh which was the last update um, they already updated the, uh, end, but that was, like, years ago, so, uh, that could be a possibility. They could have meant, uh, they could mean that, or they might not, uh, be meaning that. They could be meaning the overworld, or they can uh, also be, uh, uh, talking about both of them, the end and the overworld. That's why they're over here updating these, uh, uh these biomes separately, so then they could be possibly, um, talking about all these biomes that they're upgrade, uh, well, updating, that could be um, what they're getting at of up, uh, well, updating um, a um, a dimension, which you could consider a uh, the overworld a uh, dimension, kind of. It's just the base world is the overworld. It's where you're you're at so it, it like if you look at it as like a in like a piglin's eyes and then they go through a portal the nether portal and then they come into here in their eyes this is a, a new dimension so technically this could consider as a dimension so yeah 
so they uh, and they are uh, they are updating the overworld. So then that could be that could be uh, the th like what it is is uh, they meant that they need to update the overworld before they uh, start bringing in a new place to start uh well a completely new world kind of dimension thing it's like uh, it's pretty much a new world kind of so that's probably what they're uh that could be what they're talking about is the biomes in the overworld or i'm completely wrong and they uh, are just talking about the the um the end which they did update it not too long ago so i have no I, I, who knows but that's just my thoughts on everything but i think that uh they should be yeah they should be updating uh the biomes and the, uh the the yeah, the dimensions that we already have i agree with that but what uh, i i don't know i my opinion i think that there's sh uh, they could be putting more effort which they put a lot of effort in this game obviously but i think that uh they could put more in an update especially if it's like only like one or two updates a year i think that I mean, I'm not a developer. I have no idea how I like the effort and how much time it puts in. But as a um, a consumer, I believe that it doesn't seem like a lot. You get only like two updates per year and there's only like five ten features in that update and some more than others some updates uh, come with more than others but like like the um the um, aquatic update there really wasn't a lot in that update like it, like if you think about just mobs in general what's in in the ocean now after the update there is um well for the update let's say for the update and not after like everything total uh so they brought oh they were bringing out dolphins um pretty much a uh, tropical fish which could be a uh, category uh, as one type of of fish which there are yeah, thousands and thousands of different types but it's it's in one um category pretty much so that that's technically two mobs and then um i think it's like koi or salmon one of those two i forget that could be a, a separate and then drowns and then that's it, I think. Yeah, that's that's it. So that's only four new mobs in an, uh, a major update that's supposed to make the ocean more real. They should have brought more in, like Dolph, well, like um, killer whales, what uh, just whales in general. Um, my opinion I think that they should have brought sharks in the game um, and then they should have brought unique mobs just to Minecraft yeah features and stuff are important too uh, like the features they brought uh, coral reefs and then uh, ships oh well, sunken ships and then um, They also brought, I forget what they're called, but they're like uh, other um, structures. But those are pretty simple because majority of them are uh, using the blocks and stuff that we already have. So it's like, 
it kind of seems like it's just a little tweak, pretty much. Like, we shape this with this item, and then it spawns randomly. Again, I'm not a developer, but it kind of seems like that was uh, that's kind of simple. Like you're using the uh, like the stuff that we already have, and you're just shaping it, and then putting it in a chest and putting loot that we already have in the game. The only new stuff was pretty much the mobs, and then the coral reefs, and it was supposed to be a major update. My opinion, if it's like these, like if it's only like one or two updates, they should be bringing out a little more than that. Like, the Nether update, pretty good. Um, my opinion, I think that they should have added a little more. But, because it's just, I don't know, it's, you wait all year for the, uh, for the next major update, months and months and months, and then... You only get like five items or something like that. Five, ten items. And the smaller updates are, are uh, kind of even worse. Like uh, like the bee, uh, the Buzzy Bees update. I like the bees. I really like the bees. But uh, all you got was the bees, their hive, and honey. I don't know. I, I think that they should... My opinion, I think if if they are gonna do something, I think it should just be like one major update per year, and then they actually put a, a decent amount in that in that update, and then there is um, the small update, but then that just tweaks things that uh, I would say adds five ten mobs or something like that like I would I would be using the small update to be adding mobs and stuff in the game and then the bigger updates are like the updates that are made for like a certain thing like the KL or like the um the nether update is all about the nether the caves and cliffs update is all about the caves and the cliffs and all, all that stuff, like the structure and all that stuff, and pretty much reamping re uh, the caves and making them better and then having more stuff in it. Which hopefully there's a whole lot in this update because uh, of what we've seen so far, it's good and all, but there's a lot of opportunity for this caves and cliffs update and hopefully they they haven't showed us everything and hopefully there's a whole lot more than what they've showed us because there uh, i want it to at least have a couple new more ores than what they've showed us like one or two more and then uh they need to be bringing in new items and stuff like that and uh, more than mobs than what we've seen like I don't want to be because like Minecraft is an amazing game and they do a whole lot of amazing things or whatever and I love Minecraft but pretty much if I worked at Mojang I would do more than just three four mobs per update especially if it's a major update for that year like you only have one update per year. So I would be adding like 10, 15 mobs or something like that, not no five. I would be putting a whole lot of mobs, whole lot of experience into the game per update, a lot of thought into per updates. So then it would pull people back in that uh, that are like those season kind of gamers that don't come back and play because it gets boring and uh it's draggy because like 
it's the same thing over and over and there's like no new content and then when you do get new content you only get a couple new mobs and like a couple tweaks and stuff like there's there's a lot of updates that I really love about uh, um, that came out like the the I think it was the the end update that was uh, that happened that brought in the Libra and stuff like that I, I enjoyed that there was a couple more like the nether update I, I I enjoyed that hopefully this updates coming out soon is really good but the uh, the village and pillage update I wasn't a fan of I kind of yawned when I when I heard that update or whatever I wasn't I couldn't care uh, yeah I couldn't care less about that update honestly uh, I felt like that was like that could be a, a part of an update like you're bringing in pretty much like one mob with different uh, variants um you're updating the villagers and that's and updating the uh, the village um, structures in general and that's pretty much what you're all you're doing and it's supposed to be a major update so you're bringing in one mob with different variants redesigning the buildings and villages and then re uh, uh, like updating the villi uh, villagers that they just trade differently like that doesn't seem like a lot of content in a update that's supposed to be a major update and that's just my opinion like uh, I don't know. I think that they sh they should uh, be putting a little more effort into their updates. And like when people give them ideas, and they're actually really generally good ideas. Like people for the case and well for the Nether update, they wanted them to change the um the nether uh, fortress because it was so outdated and stuff like that I would have went back and uh, tweaked that uh, building uh, completely changed it up um, added a uh, new loot that spawns in there unique loot I, 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 I like honestly me I would have unique loot that could possibly spawn in every single type of uh, structure like, if you look at the, uh, the, the, um, sand ten uh, well, the, um, desert temple, that would spawn in something, uh, unique inside versus a jungle temple. If you're, like, looking for something, uh, uh like a unique item, you would have to go to that certain temple to find that one item and then it's not guaranteed because there's a certain percentage that they would spawn in there to give you a, a purpose to go and look for these certain structures and I would have done that with the uh, nether fortress I would have re-amped it I would have uh, changed this you know, how it looks and I would have uh, put new mobs that spawn in there and then I would have added um new items and stuff like that that you can only find in the, those fortresses and i would have I did the same thing with the, uh the piglin uh bastion as well like there's really no unique items in there it's just just what we have where you can get pretty much anywhere else you can just go and look in the uh, uh, like you can just go and search for it randomly I would, uh, my opinion, uh, uh, what I would do is I would give a, a purpose to all these structures. I would give you a reason to want to go to these certain structures that would, uh, that you could get these certain items that you can only get in those certain, uh, structures. But, yeah, like the, uh, the village and pillage update, I don't think that was enough. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to get with this wood and then I'm going to make uh, crafting tables and I'm going to put, oh, well, not crafting tables, I'm going to make uh, chests and then I'm going to end it from uh, there. So, 
and most of you if you are watching and if you got in this far thank you I appreciate it um thank you for uh, for the support guys it really means a lot and I say I, I should be yeah I, I I'm pretty sure I say in every video and I, if not I should be saying it in every video because I really mean it I really appreciate your guys' support and I hope that I can continue doing this and continue to um, grow on YouTube so um, yeah I'm gonna see you guys well okay if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you uh, guys want to see more content like this, please uh, subscribe. Um, check out my social medias, my uh, Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat. Uh, all uh, Well, there's a link in the bio uh, that has all my social medias in it. Click on that, and then it will take you to... Uh, this page where we will have all my social medias so go ahead and check out those down below and uh, check it uh, oh like if you go and uh, look at my Twitter and my snapchat I give you information when I'm going to be uploading soon or if um, YouTube's messing up and I can't upload during that day or etc and then I just post every now and then on uh, Instagram and I'm pretty sure I have my uh, TikTok on there as well. I, it's been a while since I've posted on there. I need to start doing that as well. But, anyways, um, and also I would uh, truly appreciate it if you guys uh, left a like. I don't know if I said that, but uh, it helps out on my uh, videos being known where YouTube will uh, start showing other people my videos. So I would truly appreciate it as well if you guys left a like or whatever. And I also uh, would appreciate it if you guys would uh, hit the bell. Well, not hit the bell, sorry. If you guys would share the video to friends and family, that would also help my videos uh, like hugely. And um, that's going to be about it, guys. I will see you in the next video. And it is all about the game. Mm-hmm.